Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to make an isometric grid in basically a minute. So just like you see right here. To get started we're going to click on the rectangular grid tool and then we're just going to click anywhere in our box that we have here. We're going to make sure that the size matches so it can be 700 by 700 or 500 by 500 and then you're going to choose how many dividers that you want. So any number, the amount of rows and columns. We use 40 and 40. That's okay, we get this. Then we're gonna right click on our uh, grid, go to transform and scale. And then we're gonna choose non-uniform and we're gonna scale it by 86.602% on the vertical axis. So we basically shrink it in this direction. Press okay. Then we right click, we go transform. We're gonna shear it by 30 degrees on the horizontal axis. And then we're gonna right click transform and we're gonna rotate it by negative 30 degrees. And there you have your isometric grid, super simple. Now, if we wanna make this into a guide, we can just place it wherever we want. And then we can go to view, guides, and make guides. And now this is a guide. If we don't want it to move anymore, what we can do is we can go to view, guides, lock it in place. And now obviously this color is unbearable, you can't use it at all. So to change color of your guide, you can press Ctrl K, which brings up your preferences, and then you switch to guides and grid, and you can change your color to whatever you want. So if you want, uh, if you have a light background, you maybe want, if you have a dark background, you want a light color, like cyan, which is the default. So if I draw a black box behind this, you see it sticks out. But if you have a white background, you can't. So once again, you just choose it to whatever you want it to be, uh, uh, whatever color you want like so perfect and that's all it takes all right guys have a good day hope you enjoyed this tutorial please comment subscribe like and yeah have a good day